Meet Bobbles. Bobbles is the only colonist that I've got, so obviously I'd like to make Bobbles my royal person. However, there's just one small, maybe, problem. Bobbles is a cannibal, and is ascetic, and is nudist. These are traits that you wouldn't really think would attribute very well to somebody being of royalty, demanding lavish meals, and fancy clothing, and a luxurious room. So I'm quite curious to see how that'll turn out. But would you believe that? I was just finishing up the house for Bobbles, and he suddenly, out of nowhere, became Yeoman. How neat. No requirements as of yet, it's still a pretty basic title, but hey. Psychic Amplifier, Bobbles. Just a moment has passed, we've already got another Psychic Amplifier crashing down. I guess Bobbles has suddenly become Esquire. Wants to be covered in apparel appropriate to his title? Ruffle shirt and top hat? I don't think that'll work out for you. It also demands a throne room. Something's happening? Still in the process of getting his throne room set up or being... attacked? No, it's a bunch of amplifiers. Looks like some titles have shifted around. Bobbles is now... Straight up the Emperor. You're not supposed to see that in game. Hey, Emperor Bobbles, what happened? That kind of happened quickly. He wants a grand throne room of 80 tiles with an impressiveness of 160 with all fine floors, at least two braziers, I think it is. I always want to call it braziers, but I think that's actually just a bra. And six columns, a piano, the bras must be lit. Oh, man. Well, that's a that's a bit of a pain. Even though he's a nudist, ascetic cannibal, he still wants all these requirements, which is a little bit strange to me. You would have really thought that somebody with a, you know, a, a trait combination like that would actually be wanting Emperor, like, well, not Emperor, royalty things to tie into that, you know? Maybe he wouldn't want quite so fancy apparel. Like, sure, a bit of fancy apparel. I mean, why not just a bit, but not nearly as much. And perhaps the, the ascetic Grand Throne room would be a little bit easier to manage, but... I guess that's not the case at all, which is a... A real shame, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, Emperor Bobbles, with his legendary uranium crown, human leather ruffles, shirt, human leather royal robe, and dog leather royal vest. Wouldn't have it any other way. However, he's not the happiest with it, constraining clothes still. Ugh. Thankfully, it's only minus three. Like, it's not that bad. And because he's a cannibal, he's at least got the human leather stuff on. So that's cool. He's happy with that. But it's a shame that the asceticness doesn't seem to apply very well, unless maybe you're okay with eating human meat? I'm going to consume it outside the throne. Just just eat it, man. Shove it in your face. I mean, you're, you are still a cannibal, so you should be okay with that. Yeah, raw cannibalism plus 20. So I guess there is still that. Like, it's a little more manageable if you're ascetic. You don't have to have these lavish meals and milk and all that kind of stuff, but the piano's playing and you're not actually playing it. You're so good, pianist. You're the absolute best. Good job. It's just a bit of a shame. I would have thought it'd be a, another step further. Like, if you happen to get a colonist who's got the awesome traits that line up really well with being, like, kind of a chill royal dude, I think that should be a thing. I think it should be possible, but it's not. Thankfully, it's not too terrible to manage. Like, the negative moodlets aren't too awful. They're pretty easy to, uh, to get around. Like, especially if you're inside a place that's beautiful, even though you're ascetic, it's still not that bad. Like, it, it kind of balances out. I thought it'd be kind of interesting to see, though. I wasn't sure. Now I know. Oh no! It seems Bobble has tripped and slipped over this IED entry green warhead trap that only has 10 health left, and his jaw and eyes and ears and arms and also legs are just suddenly gone and missing. And also the roof is collapsing! Uh... I said, and also the roof is collapsing. Oh, what a shame. Damn, what a horrible accident. A pianist, are you okay? Ah, uh, your left shoulder's missing. That's okay. Man, poor Bobbles. What a run, eh? Congrats to Bowman, I suppose, for uh, becoming the new emperor. That's, that's the way it goes, I, I suppose.